So you're looking at getting into tech and you wanna know how to get started. We're gonna be giving you some of my favorite tips, some of my recommendations for you to teach yourself tech, to teach yourself IT so that then you can go, perhaps go for an interview, go and look for your first job, your second job, whatever it may be. And you'll actually have some experience or some skills because you've actually taught yourself some of those essential skills. Hey everyone, my name is Emilio, I'm in tech. I've worked in tech for a long time. I love technology. And for me, this is sort of what I did. I actually started off in tech by just teaching myself some of the basics in technology. Hey, I release videos every single week on all things tech. So please also remember to click on that subscription button and on the bell so you don't miss out on any of my video releases. Now, one of the most important things for anybody who's wanting to get into technology is actually have a passion for technology. Somebody who loves, breathes technology, especially with tech changing so quickly. I mean, you wake up one day and all of these new products, these new software releases, and if you're not excited about stuff like that, if you're not excited about announcements around things that are coming up, then maybe you need to get a little bit more excited about it. It's not gonna come naturally. You're gonna have to do a little bit of homework. You're gonna have to sort of try to keep up to date with what's going off in tech. Now, let me tell you a little bit about my journey. So I actually started studying technology because I sort of, ex I, I liked it, right? I liked playing around with computers and I wanted to get better at it. So I thought, well, I'm gonna go and study a little bit more and then that will help me to get into tech. And then lo and behold, I then got one of my first IT jobs or sort of it was like an IT job, selling some computers. And then I realized that I really didn't know too much. I, I had a passion and I enjoyed technology, but there was so much out there that I didn't really know about. So then what I did is I sort of took it upon myself to teach myself technology. What are the stuff that I need to know to get myself my first proper tech job, my first proper IT job in a real life company? Making money. Well, something that I recommend is a couple things. You can start by just learning the basics of technology, understanding the basics of what is a computer, the differences between a desktop, between a laptop, opening up a computer. Now that's one of the things that I first did is I opened up my, my very first desktop computer and started figuring out the parts that were inside of that computer. Understanding where the CPU was, the RAM slots, the different types of RAM, what's a graphics card, and then that big board called the motherboard. And then of course the next big step, which really anybody, 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 anybody who works in technology needs to do is build your own computer. Build your own PC from scratch. Go and buy even some cheap parts, even some secondhand parts. Go onto eBay and buy yourself the core essential stuff. Once you build your own PC, put all the bits in it, you screw it all in, looks really cool. Then you plug in your keyboard, your mouse, you plug in your monitor and you turn the thing on and it works. And then you can go and install Windows onto that computer. Boy, it's so satisfying to do that. To do that yourself and be like, I built this thing myself. And then start doing some troubleshooting. Learn about the control panel and figure out what are all those icons in there. Because some of that stuff you're gonna need when you do go and actually work in a company. Now, the other way that I learned is once I did all of that myself, it was very obvious to my family, my friends, that I enjoyed computers. So from time to time, I would go and assist them if they had a computer problem. Well, I would go online and try to figure out the solution to that and then go and actually fix it for them. The more and more you do it, the more and more you troubleshoot computers, the more and more comfortable you'll become with learning how to do the basics of tech. So if you learn enough about hardware, about software, you've got the basics right there to be able to potentially go and find your first job. But if you wanna take that extra little step, if you wanna get even a little bit better than that. I learned this later on in my career, and I wish I had have done it a lot sooner, is that when you go into a company, uh, you're gonna go, great, I'm gonna learn a whole stack, a whole stack of new technology in a company, and that is so, so true, and you will learn a lot. And it's funny, is when you actually started a company, you realize just how little you know, and there's just a whole world in the servers, in the networking, in the storage, in security, that is just a complete black hole. You've got no idea what that stuff is yet. You'll get there eventually, but there's a whole other world of infrastructure management, but you can prepare yourself for that. And what I would recommend is at home, build your own lab environment. Now, when I built my first lab environment, that was the turning point in my technology career. You can do this quite easily. Now, look, I'm not gonna delve into a lot of the details, 
If you do want to learn more, I've got a whole bunch of videos on uh, the lab. What's here behind me is where I built my own lab and there's a lot of technology in there. So you can check out some of my other videos if you are interested. In a summary, what, what I did is I, well, I had some computers at home. I had my own desktop or a laptop, whatever it may be. And then you start playing around with some of the server technologies or some different operating systems. Why don't you go and try to install Linux? You know, you may be running Windows and you're very familiar with Windows or you've got a Mac and you know the Mac really well. Great. Well, learn about Linux. Go and download Linux Ubuntu or CentOS or Red Hat and install it. Play around with it. Have a look at what it is. If you've got Linux experience, how you can put that on your resume and that's great. Then there was servers, Windows Server 2019, Windows Server 2022, where you can actually go to the Google machine and type in download Windows Server. You then go and download it and you can actually install it and run it fully for free. Not forever, it's just a trial, but at least you can download it and install it on whatever computer you've got. And then that is great because that opens up a whole other world that you may not be familiar with. Because if you look at Windows 11, for example, well, that's made for the end user. That's made for the standard user of a computer. But then you've got the server version of Windows and it's got all these technologies and all these tools and software on that. Most companies will use in some form or fashion. Domain controllers, DNS, DHCP. You can install IIS for building your own website. There's a whole bunch of other things as well. If you've got that experience, if you've played with that, you'll be at such a higher advantage than other people who don't have that. You're in a much better position than 90% of the other candidates that you'll be potentially competing against. When I built my own lab and I started playing around with the lab and started playing with some more advanced technologies, that then helped me in my current job, in that job that I had, to be able to prove that I had that skill and then I was given additional responsibilities. I just enjoyed it a whole lot more. Now then from there, you've got a whole range of other things. You can delve into the virtualization space. Something that I like to do is download VMware ESXi, install VMware ESXi, and then start playing around with this technology called virtualization. Essentially what virtualization is, is it lets you run multiple computers on one physical computer. So if you've got your laptop at home that's running Windows 11, we can actually install ESXi onto it, and then you can build three or four Windows servers or Windows 11 computers on that one machine. So you can actually build each one and give each one a specific different function, and then you can play around with that. Now I'm gonna say that the majority of big companies, medium companies even, will be using virtualization in some form or fashion. So have a play with virtualization VMware, ESXi, download it for free. I've got videos on all of that stuff as well. I've got a full length training course if you want to learn more about virtualization. You can check that out in the description below. If you wanted to know more about Windows Server, if you're wanting to know more about other basic infrastructure and other tech, I've got heaps and heaps of online training courses. So check out some of those because they're gonna give you a good foundation to get started building your own skill set up in technology. And then the last big one that I would sort of recommend you to get into or at least invest a little bit more time in is uh, the cloud. You're gonna be very, very hard pressed to find a company that is not using some form of cloud technology somewhere. So you don't have to have all of your servers sitting in your office anymore. You can actually have some of these virtualized sitting in the cloud. So two big things that I'd recommend is look into Microsoft Azure and Amazon's AWS. You can set up an AWS account for free and start using it. So all of this stuff you can really do yourself, self-taught. You are gonna have to sometimes do your own research. You are gonna have to go online. You're gonna have to go to forums. You're gonna have to go listen to podcasts, like reading things. If you get stuck, if you're deploying a Windows server and you're getting stuck, well, how do I do that? Go and look for it online. And as I did say earlier as well, if you wanna know a heap more I've got a whole bunch of online courses that I know you'll find helpful. And look, I also release videos every single week on all things tech. So if you subscribe, you're not gonna miss out on any of these videos. So do click on that subscription button and on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. And also, why don't you let me know in the comments below whether you're in this position wanting to learn more about technology. How do I teach myself tech? Let me know maybe how many years of tech you've got. Have you actually built your own computer? Let me know in the comments. And other than that, do like this video if you did like it, if you found it helpful. And uh, that's it. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you next time.